Hit the, uh, there we go. All right, so everybody, um, thank you for tuning in today. You're listening to WRUULP, Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings Community Radio with Global Soul. And my guest today is Courtney Rollins. And I'm going to just read a really short little bio here. Uh, for y'all but Courtney I'm so glad to have you on the show today so uh, Courtney is a community connector with a passionate belief that everyone can succeed with the right support she hails from a small town in Georgia moving to Savannah at the age of 14 Courtney is serving as a current president of Buy Local Savannah and was the 2019 best local advocate of the year recipient she's motivated and whatever she does and is a lover of all things local so welcome Courtney how are you I'm so great. You sound so cool when you do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, uh, somebody said I have a face for radio. <laughs> you're, too, you're too cool for me. Oh, my Happy gosh. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad to have you on. Um, Sebastian is my son, and he always plays some live music for us. So, Bass, do you mind playing a little bit? Uh, get your acoustic today. Do you mind playing a little bit for us? All right, so here's Sebastian Messer, everybody. Thanks, Bess. That's great. So, Courtney, can you tell me about yourself and what you're uh, working on and, you know? All the things? Yeah, just kind of, because um, for our audience, we have uh, folks, uh, I usually talk with authors and artists and entertainers, and um, I have had a lot of different uh, entrepreneurs on as well, because, you know, most people that do their own thing you know they're they have to have their own business and that you know it's like a side hustle or sometimes it's their full-time thing and you know so you do a lot with the uh with local businesses and stuff like that so can you tell us you know more about yourself and you know all the things yeah yeah absolutely so um just to give you a little background let's let's take it back about four years ago um i was a commercial banker and I had my little family in Pooler and, you know, we were chugging along every day doing what we do, nice and scheduled out. And then, you know, kids get older, they move out. And sometimes moms are like, mm, who am I if I am not my child's parent? What am I doing? So I took about, I'd say probably three months. I was real sad, ate what I wanted, did what I wanted. And then I said, all right, where do you want to go with your life? What do you love? What do you want to focus on? What do you want to do? So I kind of I started exercising a little bit more, started getting involved in the community a little bit more. And I found out that I have a huge passion for local businesses and people that run local businesses. They are the most inventive, resilient human beings I have ever met. You know, we're in the middle of a what I like to call a COVID nightmare. We're all trapped here. And I am so happy to say that through the organization that I, I'm, I'm with by local, we have not lost any memberships. We haven't lost any businesses. Uh, oh, that that's they great. Have, yeah. Yeah. That they have just adapted and they keep reinventing themselves to stay, to stay profitable, to stay doing what they need to do to be open and so I've just kind of dedicated the last three years of my life to doing whatever I can do to help local business businesses succeed. Being a resource for them, being a connector of, hey, do you know anybody type thing. And just, you know, I think in the bio you said um, genuinely believes people can be successful with the right tools. And that is 
that's kind of my motto, kind of my tagline. I do genuinely, truly believe that people can be successful given the right connections and the right tools. Yeah, I think that's, um, I think that is true. Um, and you know, the other day we talked for a few minutes or whatever, um, especially about uh, building relationships versus transactions and you know, the transactions come, but I, I feel like that's one of the things, um, that's the most important is like, you know, any business, anybody, whatever, you know, you have to, you have to look at like, okay, well, who are my clients? Who are my customers? You know, how do I build relationships with those people so that I can serve them? And it doesn't always have to be like a, you know, like a cash transaction. It could be like, you know, you're a volunteer and how do you serve your community better? You know, so could you talk to us more about that? Cause you know, the other day when we were talking, you know, I felt like we were having a really good chit chat and I, I'd like to hear your take on it. Well, I couldn't agree with you anymore. It's about the relationships. Anybody can walk in somewhere and make a sale and roll out. Um, I think it's about knowing the businesses and knowing the people. And you don't do that without a relationship. It's not always the phone call. Hey, can you donate for this? Hey, can, can you do this? Sometimes it needs to be the phone call. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. What can I do to help you? Mm -hmm. Do you need a connection? Do you need anything? And, and checking on them. And I'm real big on that's how a relationship should work. You should not always talk to people because you need something. Send them a quick text and say, hey, just checking on you. They might text you back. They might not, but they'll remember that you sent them that text. There's no doubt. Yeah, and, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. That is... Um that advice has been floating around for a while now, but the, the thing is with it is that there's a difference between being genuine and sincere and doing that because you're just like, Hey, and I just, I want to check in on Courtney, you know, I want to see how she's doing. Not because there's some kind of agenda or motive behind it. You, you know, the thing is that I see with folks, especially with like social media and stuff like that, you know, there are a lot of these, um, I like to call it shovels and jeans folks that they're like, Back in the day with the uh, gold rush, you know, the folks that made money were not the miners, really. It was mostly the folks that were selling shovels and jeans to the miners. And so there's a lot of stuff out there where people are disingenuous and they're telling them, like, that same exact advice that you're doing, that you're saying. They're telling them to do that, but they don't tell them, you know, why. And then so folks are, like, doing that and they're not. They're not doing it because it's like being sincere, like, you know, hey, you know, Courtney's my friend. I want to check in with her and see how she's doing. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's an important distinction, you know, with that, because, you know, the phone works both ways. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But like mm -hmm. if I see, you know, for example, like if I see, you know, you went to, uh, you know, one of the Savannah Bananas games or whatever. You know, and I was like, hey, how was the game? You know, and we talk about that or whatever. You know, there's it's not. You know, like if you have a business trend, you know, a business relationship with somebody or whatever, it's important, you know, to be able to be available for them to service what they need. But it's also important to build that relationship and, to, you know, to talk <laughs> with folks because, you know, everybody can smell phony. You know, everybody mm -hmm. knows when somebody's being mm -hmm. fake and disingenuous and all that. And, and so can you talk about that a little bit more, too? Because, you know, I know that you're a relationship person and like, you know, you really value people. Um I do. Yeah, I and I, I want to hear more. I want I want you to kind of dive deep into that because to me that is what I feel like is helping with the you know the pandemic and all the other stuff that's going on. You know, people are are you know helping each other out and they're you know kind of just sticking up for each other, sticking together, and you know. So I really want to hear like you know your your deep thoughts on that and you kind of dive deep in it for me. Well, I do. I really, really love people. I love learning from people. I love to watch people be successful. Um, no matter no matter what they do, you could have not said it any better. People will smell you not being genuine a mile away, mm -hmm. a mile away. And I think, you know, working on relationships and sending those texts and just checking in with people, whether they text you back, whether they don't call you back, that they remember that you did that and they don't only remember that you did that they also remember how you made them feel when they yes did that. oh my gosh and courtney people will remember how you made them feel a lot yeah. longer than what they'll remember what you said 
Yeah, one hundred percent. Yes, you can make somebody feel something, and and work up. And when you talk to them, you can work up a drive in them or a passion in them or some of that. My heart explodes out of its chest. Well, like I, the other day when we were talking, that was the first time you and I had talked because we have a lot of uh, you know peripheral mutual friends. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of you know peripheral friends, associates, and stuff like that. And but you know the other day that was the first time we were talking because we we were kind of having like a little text miscommunication. And I was like, hey, can you know? Because I was trying to, you know, just I was in the middle of something. You were in the middle of something. We were like playing text tag, you know, mm-hmm. like phone mm-hmm. tag. And um, and I was like, hey, can we just talk real quick? And you know, you're like, oh, I'm so glad, you know, because you know, you were busy. I was busy. And, it was so easy to talk to you. Yes. So you just pick up the phone and call me. Yeah, yeah. and you know, and that that was the first time we had talked, you know, mm-hmm. and I felt like you know we had a, you know really good connection and talking and. You know, and we have similar, you know, circles, you know, we have different circles too, but we have similar circles with a lot of folks that we know. And, you know, Savannah, I feel is, we're, okay, we're in such well, a special place, you know? Yes. And the, you know, the folks, are, there, there are a lot of really awesome community leaders, you know, in Savannah, like yourself. And, you know, I love Marianne Ginnam Popple and what she does. I love, you know, Bill Sorachek and what he does. And, mm-hmm. you know, there are a lot of folks out there. Like, honestly, the uh, honestly is one of those crutch words, everybody, but it's like, um, or the whatever. But um, the Ronald McDonald uh, Charities of the Coastal Empire is, is my charity of choice. And the reason why is because I love what they do for the families and children. And mm-hmm. so, you know, those are the kind of folks that I like connecting with, like yourself and, and them, because you you're sincere. You know, you're, you're genuinely yeah. trying to do, you know, of course you want to, you know, make money of what you're doing. I mean, like when I'm putting a book out there, I want to sell books, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's not like a secret, but I'm not trying to push that on someone who doesn't like, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not saying, oh, well, you know, why don't you just try it? I know you don't like this kind of, you know, <laughs> but just try it for me. You know, I mean, um, yeah, Ronald McDonald house is, uh, what an amazing work that they do there to be able to keep families close. I know Bill very well. Um, he is an amazing person running that show over there. They've been members of Buy Local for as long as I can remember. Yeah, him, the whole um, staff, and the volunteers. And, mm-hmm. I mean, they're just yeah, all and, wonderful and people. Anniversary. I think 33 years. Mm-hmm. I just, I think I just saw that. Out. Yeah, doing 33 years of that work. I don't think that a community can have enough advocates Mm -hmm. there are so many things going on in this world and if you find that little niche that that's what appeals to you and that's what your passion is i I don't i just i don't think you can have enough community advocates the more people involved in the community the better it's going to be that is for sure I agree. Um, hold that thought for just a second, Courtney. We've got to do a station ID, and then I want to sure. do a shout out. This is what, something like I've kind of added to the show lately, and I, I've you know like doing that. So um, think about somebody you'd like to do a shout out for. Um, so everybody, thank you for tuning in today. You are listening to the Adam Messer Show here on WRUULP Savannah, Georgia, one hundred seven point five FM, WRUU dot org. We are Savannah Soundings Community Radio with Global Soul, and I'm the host, uh, your host, Adam Messer, and my special guest today is Courtney Rollins, who, uh, you know, you do a lot of things, you know, so um, let's do the shout out. So do you have a a couple people or somebody in mind that you'd like to, you know, just do a shout out to? I do want to do a shout out. This is so much fun. Um, So I want to do a shout out to somebody that tends to work under the radar who have, I have known, Lord, I've been married 18 years. I've, I've probably known her 20 years. She gives me a call and says, hey, what's going on? Where can you be? What can I do to help you? And that is Miss Bunny Ware. Oh, Bunny, Bunny, Bunny. Yes, Bunny is so awesome. She well, you know, awesome. did she? I think she just retired from photography recently, didn't she? Is she still doing any photography? I don't know. I hadn't talked to her in a so, long time. If you, when you talk about the hustle game, uh, she is the queen of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she is doing all kinds of things, but she does tend to work in the background. She, um, well, she's got that, she, oh, she had that column, Bunny in the City, 
for a long she, time. Yeah, and... yeah. And she's doing a little column. She's doing a column now with Savannah now, and that and that's what she does. She calls all her people, and you know puts them in the paper for what they're doing and when they're doing it. And she's just a really strong voice for organizations that are out there in their lane. You know, kind of so. You know, she calls me on Monday and she's like, "What's going on by local? What can I do to push it? What can uh, I do to yeah. help you can be? Hey, yeah. you want to meet this person? And communities need people like that for sure. So she is my shout out. Bunny wears my shout out. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, I've known Bunny uh, probably uh, since 2014. Yeah, when I started doing photography and writing for the paper and all and started doing the spotted galleries that used to be like a really big thing around town i have uh, a fun story about bunny yeah go ahead let's story. go ahead well, well let me do my shout outs real quick and then we'll do the funny story about bunny or the cool yeah. story about bunny um so i want to give a shout out to our isle of hope listeners and terry and darlene dremel um miss harriet i want to say hey how you doing listening in and uh everybody listening connie i want to say hello uh, how are you? Glad you're listening. Thank you so much. And um, we have uh, actually, I want to share this too, but I want to give a special shout out to my friend Matt Lestalia. So after you tell your story about Bunny, I want to tell you my story about uh, my buddy Matt because we've got this uh, this little thing that he and I are doing together and talk about like doing a hustle and, and like, you know, just working on some stuff. Um, but yeah, I want to give a shout out to uh, Matt and his, uh, his wife, uh, Yasmin. So, uh, Matt Lestalia and Yasmin Lestalia, just what's shout up, out. What's up, Matt? Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> so, all right, so tell me this uh, this uh, funny story about Bunny. Well, it's not a particular story, but I met Bunny when her and I used to do photography um, for a mutual friend of ours. And Bunny has been like, she's like, either you love me or you hate me. Either mm. we're going to be friends for 20 years or you're going to know that you don't like me within the first 15 minutes. <laughs> well, her and I have been friends for 20 years. 20 wow. years, her and I. Yeah. Wow. So I don't, I think when you have friends that you've known that long, that really does say something about the relationship that you have. I mean, it's, it's hard work to be friends with someone for 20 years. You know, that, you know, we were talking about that whole relationship thing. It's, it's work. It's work. Um, I'll tell you what I tell my friends. Um, I'll tell them the same thing with like uh, with my uh, my family and stuff. I might not because you know we're adults and we have adult lives and kids and all that stuff. Um, you know, life happens and whatever. But I tell them I say, you know, I might not see you all the time, but it doesn't change how I feel about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Well, Bunny calls me every Monday morning, so. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's not before eight o'clock, I do not take phone calls before eight. So I shouldn't 8. call you at seven fifteen tomorrow morning and say, <laughs> "Courtney, the podcast is ready to go. You want to yeah. listen to it?" <laughs> she is just a, she's just a really big supporter, really, yeah. really, really, really big um, resource and tool for me. You know, we talked about those earlier, giving people resources and tools, and she, sir, she definitely is that for me. And she has a servant's heart and. I think that's probably why we've been friends for 20 years. <laughs> wow. Bunny Ware, what's up? You're my shout out girl. There you go. There. All about Bunny. You know, I haven't had Bunny on the show. Maybe I can uh, talk to her and get her on. Oh my God, but I, I don't know. She's, you amazing. know, because she's so quiet and reserved, um, like publicly, you know, like, uh, but like when you, yeah, when you get to know her, she's not really quiet and reserved like that. No, she's <laughs> so, not. No, no but, she is not. She's a very opinionated lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so I want to talk about this thing with my buddy, Matt, t- talking about like, you know, um, like just community servant leadership or whatever. Um, Matt has his radio show called burn your boats and he talks with <laughs> entrepreneurs. Uh, he's actually, uh, I don't know what they call it, uh, but when you leave the uh, the military, he's actually leaving uh, active duty and transitioning into civilian world or whatever. Um, but it, he's been uh, doing his show for about a year now, and uh, or a little bit over a year. And we were introduced by a mutual friend, and um, you know, we just kind of hit it off, had a great time or whatever. Um, Isn't that the best when you meet somebody and hit it off? Isn't yes, yes, yes. Um, and so he talks with like local entrepreneurs and stuff. Um, and it's pretty cool cause he's been doing that. So he and I, we, on this show, I usually talk to uh, folks that are like 
creative people, you know. Um, I, I do talk to business people and I do talk to entrepreneurs from time to time, but I don't have a chance really to talk a whole lot about um, entrepreneurship and business leadership and servant leadership and stuff like that. And that's my background. My background is in business and leadership and, uh, you know, volunteering and stuff like that. Um, education, background, work, all that, you know, that's like, I love it. I've been studying um, leadership and, you know, student leadership for probably like 25 years now. And wow. I, I love it. Um, that's funny that you bring that up. I'm in the middle of a, you know, a lot of colleges are offering free classes right now. Yeah. And- Troy University is offering a leadership 101 I'm in the middle of. Oh, that's I great. To, that's great. Yeah, I, said that. Yeah. yeah, I did my undergrad in business um, administration. I did a master of business administration and I did a master of information systems. And I love, I love leadership. I love serving others, especially servant leadership, because, you know, I don't really feel like there's any leadership without servant leadership. Agreed. Um, yeah. And so Matt, he's of like mind and, um, you know, he's getting ready to move and, you know, him and his wife, they have a place up in uh, Virginia and yada, yada, yada. Well, anyway, um, we talked about getting together with people or whatever. We met up last uh, week and had coffee. I got to meet his wife for the first time, which is totally awesome. Yeah, I mean, is really it's such a sweet lady and all. And um, we had another friend of ours, Jason Usry, who we met up with at the front porch. Awesome. Yes, at the front porch. Yeah, Jason's Jason. awesome, and cool. uh, I love Jason to death. And we all we all met up, and you know, we just uh, we did our social distancing, wore masks, and stuff like that. But we were at the the front porch of Pooler, which is like my favorite place, and yours too, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, not to plug anybody, but that's like I, that's where I like to meet up with people and, and you know, pool or and, you know, if I'm it's in that local. area, you know, it's local, it's allowed. You're and I was like, hey, Matt, you know, I want to do something with you, but I want, I, I want it to be like quick and dirty and, you know, just just short, you know, 15 minutes. That's it. You know what I mean? Because he okay. and I can get together and we can just talk and talk and talk and talk. <laughs> It's all. Mm-hmm. And I was like, let's do this. So we did, um, we actually uh, did this. We started doing this thing called the Matt and Adam show. And it's about grit. It's about doing the work and why it matters. And so that's mm-hmm. my shout out today. I wanted to, I wanted to do a shout out to that because um, it's, it's the same kind of stuff. Like when you're working with, you know, the folks with the buy local Savannah, you know, it's not about like, what can I get out of you? at all you know what i mean but there are a lot of folks that they think okay well i've got to get this lead i got to do this i got to do this you know and they don't understand they 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 know like i was saying earlier they know that you should contact people and follow up with them they know the steps but they don't understand and i'm not not generalizing here i'm just saying i've seen it over and over again but mm-hmm. they, they don't understand the why behind it. And without the why, it's just following the steps. It's just, you know, going through the bases or whatever. And it's empty. they're not connecting. They're not building relationships with anybody. You know, they're just burning through leads. You know, and I've seen people like, oh, my gosh. I've seen people like when you go to some of these, um, you know, meetings or whatever, that all they want to do is like, you know, hit, you know, tag and bag uh you know, boom, boom, boom. I'm so and so and so and so. They do their elevator pitch, and they, you know they don't even you know really spend any time with you. You know when mm-hmm. I go when I go to stuff like that, I like to you know meet somebody and try to make a new friend. You know, try mm-hmm. to make new friends. You know, um, and I, I really this is one reason I'm bringing this up because I want to talk with you about it. I love the idea of making it all about them. You know. So yeah. like, like when we were talking Friday, I was like, I want to make, you know, like this conversation is going to be all about you. And the reason why I'm kind of framing this is because we talked about this the other day and I want to bring it back around so that you can share, you know, your thoughts with that. Because, you know, entrepreneurship, business, whatever, I don't care what it is. If you're a musician, if you sell widgets on the corner or you work in, you know, like, like big corporate business, you know, on a high rise uh, somewhere in Manhattan, I don't care what what you're doing you you don't get anywhere without relationships you do not so i th- and i think it's so cool that you were talking about bunny because you know bunny's a a, a connector kind of person Definitely. and you're right people either love her or they don't and yeah. you know it's it's because like a lot of people don't know how to take her her personality because she's very pushy at first and she's really like upfront in your face about a lot of stuff 
and she's yep. she's very solid about who she is, and she'll tell you who she is. Very. Yeah, and so a lot of people don't know how to take her, and they don't, you know, they're not as secure about themselves, and so they kind of back off because her personality is like over the top, you know, and and she can be intimidating <laughs> to people because of that, and it's not because she's a mean person because she's super sweet. It's yeah. just that they don't know how to deal with, you know, um, like an over the top kind of personality like that. And she's not like that at first, you know, but she's like that after you get to know her. Well, she's confident. Yeah. And she knows she's been around. She's done it. She knows how to help people. And so when she and she's great with photography because she's like uh-huh. A, B, C, D, one, two, three, oh, do this right now or else. <laughs> She has every woman in this town trained on how to stand to look good in a photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's really good about you know you know with that, and that's what I'm saying. Like you know, it's it's about relationships. So I think one of the reasons that I was so drawn to buy local um, was because when I started attending attending lunches, you know, when we could have those back before the nightmare. Mm-hmm. Um, I noticed that. I noticed that people were talking to one another, not trying to make sales, mm. but trying to have a relationship with a business. Yeah. To learn what they needed and how they could supply it for them. And I think, you know, that that's what Buy Local is based on is relationships. And that's why I was so drawn to it. I, I, I love that. I really do. I love that because, you know, we a lot of us have you know different circles and there's a lot of people in the circles or whatever that we know or we might not know them you know what i mean Uh, Mm um but i can usually tell um not i don't not psychic or anything like that (laughs) but like if i get um you know like a facebook that's what we'll call that if i get a facebook connection and somebody asks me or like linkedin or something like that and then i look at who we have a mutual friends um you know, I have a good idea of like what kind of person this person's going to be. Um, yeah, what what the motivation behind the yeah, yeah yeah like like okay well you know they know so and so and so and so and whatever and you know and even like just doing it that way and not you know because a lot of times I don't talk to the folks in person you know it might just be through Facebook or whatever but when I'm out and about and I meet people I'm like oh yeah okay. You know, or we you know, do events or whatever. It's like, yeah, 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 that's cool. You know, then you, you have a lot of commonality, on mm-hmm. that, you know, or common uh, background or whatever. And, you know, the folks that I really appreciate are the ones that are, you know, they're trying to help others, that they're trying to do for others. Um, you know, and, then of course, there has to be, like, a return. You know, there has to be, like, you can't just give, 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 and then, you know, not be able to sustain it and support yourself. I mean, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. But it's not... Um, you know, like you said earlier, it's not the call like, hey, you know, it's not every time it's like, hey, you know, we're doing this fundraiser. Can you please make a donation again? Or, right. you know, thank you so much for your support last year. You know, uh, would you be able to increase your support this year? You know, that it, kind of thing. The thing. If you can, if you have a relationship with mm-hmm. the people and you're talking to them, not just about business, but, you know, about how they can help and things like that. If you're involved in something nine times out of ten they're going to call you and say hey i saw you're having a lunch you yeah and the having that relationship it's all you're already you know doing the work yeah you you know what well you're not trying to pair people up that are not going to be you know like like if if i don't like baseball and you know that I'm like, you know, football fan. I don't really care for baseball. You're not going to say, Hey, you know, uh, Savannah bananas are doing like a big event. You know, you might mention it, but you're not going to be like, you know, like, Hey, you know, I wouldn't be the top of the list type thing, you know? But if, you know, Bill is like a huge, you know, sports fan, loves baseball. And you know that (laughs) Bill's going to be like one of the first people you talk with and say, Hey, Bill, you know, we're doing this fundraiser for the Savannah bananas, you know, I am, so glad that you brought that up because that's kind of like a little trick of the trade for me. If I'm doing something and and would like to ask somebody get involved or gauge, I'm really really big on knowing your audience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't want to you really? don't want to just throw it out there to the wind. Hold that thought. We've got to do the thirty minute station break. Um, 
and we're gonna come we're gonna dive back into that when uh we get back uh but i want to hear i want to hear lots to say about yes that. So i want to yes. hear i want to hear like the juice on this okay yeah. yeah all right everybody thank you so much for tuning in today you're listening to wruu lp savannah georgia 107.5 fm wruu.org we are savannah soundings community radio with global soul my special guest today here on the adam messer show is Courtney Rollins and stay tuned we're going to do a couple of station IDs and we'll be back in about two minutes this portion of WRUULP Savannah Soundings programming is brought to you by listeners and the Ships of the Sea Museum one of the hidden secrets of the Ships of the Sea Museum is its gardens native plants are interspersed with exotic tropical plants throughout the gardens visitors can enjoy everything that has earned the Ships of the Sea Museum the Trip Experts 2015 Experts Choice Award. You can find out more about the Ships of the Sea Museum at the website shipsofthesea.org. How many times have you heard WRUU's corporate underwriting message? If you remember it, then your potential customers will remember your message as well. We are offering this space to connect corporate and institutional partners with our loyal and active listeners. Underwriting on WRUU is short, so listeners don't tune out. It's exclusive, so your message won't be lost in advertising clutter. And it supports Savannah's only community radio station. For a marketing package to increase your reach beyond traditional media, Email underwriting at WRUU.org. Wearing masks is not about protecting yourself. It is about protecting others. Several studies have shown that coronavirus infection rates can be significantly reduced by everyone wearing masks or other facial coverings. So face it, it's time to wear a mask. For more information, contact the CDC at www.cdc.gov and click on Coronavirus Disease 2019. WRUULP, Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings Community Radio with Global Soul. All right, we are back, everybody. Thank you so much. And uh, just a real kind of quick little expansion on uh, the messages you just heard. We are an all-volunteer station. Uh, we don't get paid to do this. We do it because we love it. I love doing this show. I love connecting with my listeners and my audience. I love being able to talk to uh, you know special people like Courtney, uh, who's a guest on my show today. I uh, love being able to, you know, Sebastian being able to play some music, you know, um, every show. I, I just love that. And that's one of the reasons why, like, I'm, I've done this for the last two years, and I'm going into my third year, and... Uh, the BRUU has been just a blessing. It's just totally awesome. The reason why I'm saying this is because if you enjoy our programs, you know, if you enjoy this show, if you enjoy being able to talk with, you know, or listen to our show and, and interact, you know, with different, we've got over 60 hosts, you know, uh, consider making a donation, consider going underwriting, you know, uh, like the announcement for the underwriting, you know, your business could be an underwriting. You could say, hey, I want to underwrite for the Adam Messer Show. Now, the difference between underwriting and advertising, just, you know, so people can understand it. It's very similar, okay? You're still talking about your business. You're still talking about what you're doing and that kind of thing. But the only difference is because we're community radio, we can't do a call to action. We can't sell things, okay? But you can advertise through an underwriting where it's broadcast out to our listeners. And then my show in particular gets rebroadcast through the podcast. So it's, you know, it's on there and you know, it's like a double whammy. You're not paying, you know, for that as you know, twice or whatever. So that's just my pitch to everybody, you know, please consider making a donation uh, through WRU.org or if you have a business, cause I'm sure a lot of um, our buy local people might be listening today cause Courtney's here. But if you have a business and you want to support like what we're doing here as you know, last year we were the voted the best local radio station, and also we were voted the best local talk radio. If you want to connect with folks that like that kind of programming, make a consideration for either making a donation or doing some underwriting. So, 
there's that. I just want to throw that out there, Courtney, because I was like, man, you, with you being here today, I thought it was, you know, apropos because, you know, you know so many folks in the, the community and especially with the buy local. I just want to, you know, just let people know that they have that opportunity if they want to. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So I want to hear the juice. I want to, I want to get, you know, I want to hear more, you know, like from the mind of Courtney Rollins about, you know, this relationships and connecting with people and, and your, uh, your little secret, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm like, you know, I'm not going to try to, uh, I try to find out what people's interests are and, and not because I'm, you know, being nosy, but because really, you know, if you, if you like baseball and you know, you love, uh, you know, Savannah bananas, you know, you'd, you'd be interested in finding out about it. But if you're mm-hmm. like a football fan and you're not a baseball fan, then, you know, mm-hmm. might not be a good fit for you, you know? Mm-hmm. So tell me, tell me more. Um, okay. So biggest advice I could ever give any organization or any business or any person is know your audience. Mm-hmm. Um, we, I do a lot of things out in Pooler. What, what? Love Pooler. Oh, yeah. Um, do a lot of stuff out here. Um, work with the chamber pretty, pretty, pretty heavily. Sit on the board of directors out there. And that is one thing that we are very intent on. If we were to have, let's do, let's do something like completely out of the, out of the boat, a um, ridiculous gala for bulldozers. That's not going to work here in Pooler. However, if you have a food truck festival, they will come because mm-hmm. we know what our community is made of. We know what the neighborhoods out here, they're made of families. Mm-hmm. We need family things. If you are somebody who makes beer, making necklaces is probably not your your biggest avenue. Don't go that way. Right, right. <laughs> Re- constantly reinvent yourself to know your audience. Yeah, you got to read the room. Yeah, re- always read the room. Mass emails, hate them. Yep. Personal emails, love them. Now, that's a good question, too, because I'm the same way. And, uh, for example, like uh, they can work. You know, like the Savannah Master Calendar, I'm thinking of like a mass email, right? Um, it can work because of the way that they structure it. For but sure. for That's you, smart. yeah, for you, like person to person, you know, you don't want to have like a script. You know, it's good to have a script. It's good to know like, okay, well, I'm going to talk about these points. That's good. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you don't, in my opinion, you don't want to just send somebody, like you said, a mass email. Like, right. you know, that kind of thing. Now, like, I'll give you an example. Like, I have, uh, for my author, I have, uh, I usually send out once a month an email to the folks that have signed up for my email list. And I don't spam them, you know. I don't like, you know, uh, to send out a lot of stuff because I, I don't I don't feel like it's, you know, we all have so much email. We all check our email or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. But on that, I'll send that out. And then they know that's going to come out as, you know, a mass email. But when I'm working with somebody or if I wanted to contact them, I would never send them, you know, a spam type email mm-hmm. because so it doesn't, I, doesn't make sense. You know yeah, what? I no. mean, like you're just being disingenuous then. Yeah. So what I like to do with email is I know what I want to say in my email. Mm-hmm. I know what point I want to get across, mm-hmm. but I don't send out emails that say, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Or yeah. something like that. If I'm going to send an email to Adam with a a point that I need to get across him, the first thing I'm going to do is say, yo, Adam. Yeah. Or whatever salutations you and I use. I think the, you are, get, the closer you get as friends, the less greetings you have. You're like, hey, man. <laughs> or you're like, hey, you free next Tuesday? You're like, you have right. – you kind of cut that <laughs> It right. like it's like and, like I know my good friends are the ones that just like dive right in. Like even in the subject line, they're like, "You free for coffee?" <laughs> yeah, and even then, you know, it goes back to what we were talking about earlier: relationship. Yes, yes. You know, so I'll send out an email, or or I know what the point of the email is going to be, and whatever salutation I use with that person in conversation is probably what I'm going to put on the email and then I'll connect with them somehow. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear about your mom or how's your mom or something that we talked about in our last conversation and then go into, Hey, while I have you, we're doing this thing out here. 
you like it. You want to do something? I see. Let me, let me uh, chime in on there, too. And that's another one of those points. Because, like, there's a – okay, uh, I'm not trying to sound funny here. Um, but the way you do it is I feel like it's really good. All right? I love that. That's another one of those um, talking points. Like, so these social media gurus or whatever, that's another one of those little talking points that they that they talk about. Like, oh, you know, do all the right things. Do all the right things. But they leave out the why. So, Courtney, why is it important to do it that way? Because the folks, like I was talking about earlier, I'm just kind of piggybacking off the same theme, you know, that they're they're trying to just, you know, hustle leads or whatever. They're not really connecting with people. So why is it important to do it that way versus the other way? Because you want to make the recipient feel something. You want to connect with them. Yeah, anyway, like I agree. I mean, it's like, you know, you're married. I'm married. You know, if I were to tell my wife, well, you know, hey, everybody, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's, it yeah, would be like, not, what? <laughs> she, my wife would be like, what? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. You know, it's and that's, 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 that's how I kind of feel about it. It's like you wouldn't ask somebody to marry you on the first date, you know. Um, and if you want to get to know that person, get to know them. Mm-hmm. You know, be sincere about getting to know them and building that relationship. You know, and that's, that's why I'm piggybacking off of that again, because it's like, you know, that's another one of the, the tactics. You can smell it a mile away, you know, but mm-hmm. it is important and it is a critical part of like building a relationship. It's like you get to know the other person. 99% of the time when I'm contacting somebody, it's because I know their benefit, their business can benefit from it. Right, right. That, that's, that's the why. That's the bigger why. That, hey, look, this is good. For, this is, I really feel like this is good for you. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a, yeah, everybody wants the what's in it for me type aspect too. It's like, you know, well, how's the exchange? How am I going to, you know, what, how am I going to work on this exchange? You know, like a buddy and I, we were talking last week and this is not, I'm not, you know, I didn't, I didn't make this up and you know, whatever. I'm not claiming this is an original thought, but this is just something that we were thought, we were talking about. If um, you're going to buy something for a hundred dollars, right. Intrinsically, you feel like that item is worth more than a hundred dollars in value. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you paid a hundred dollars for something that you felt was less valuable, you would feel like you were being ripped off. So if you felt like it was worth fifty dollars and you were paying a hundred, you would feel like you were being ripped off. If you bought it for a hundred dollars and you thought it was worth two hundred, you would feel like you got a great deal. Heck yeah, and, a sale. Yeah, exactly. It's a you know <laughs> like if you get like a clearance, you know whatever you know whatever you you like and you get it on like for five bucks versus paying a hundred you're gonna be like yes you know but if you're kind of stuck and you're like well you know i don't i don't know why i'm ha- having to pay five dollars for a bunch of bananas you know you're mm-hmm. gonna feel like you're being ripped off you know and i feel like that how that translates into a relationship is the same way you come into a relationship offering value and that doesn't mean you're giving them something you can just give of yourself but you come yeah. to that relationship of giving that value with the other person and, you know, you're offering that value of who you are to them. And it's not just about transaction, transaction, transaction. It's about like, OK, you know, hey, um, I know that you are a new business and I know that you do work here in Pooler. And I want to tell you about our group, this, you know, buy local uh, Savannah group or whatever or the chamber or whatever. And I, the reason why I'm contacting you is because I saw you just signed up for, you know, the chamber or whatever. And that kind of thing. And then you let them, you know, talk about what they're doing. You know, but if you do it the other way around like, you know, well, hey, uh, you know, uh, our membership is this and this is why it would benefit you. A- ABC 123 bullet point bullet point bullet point. I'm going to send you a generic email with like everything so you can just look through it when you have time. And it's like who who are you going to connect with? Who are you going to talk to? Yeah. You know, you gonna talk to the person that's just trying to spam you, or are you gonna talk to the person that really, you know, cares about? Hey, Courtney, uh, you know, I'm I'm so glad you you joined the organization. You know, I just want to reach out to you and let you know who I am, and you know, if there's anything I can do to help you, you know. I think a big part of connecting with people also involves listening. Yeah. A lot of times, I can sit and um, tell you a million things, but if you're not listening. Or, you know, or vice versa, you know, connecting with people and having that relationship with people involves a lot of listening. And nowadays, it's real easy to find people that want to talk about themselves. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, but I mean, you really, you really do have to have to listen. Well, in the position like, you're in too, you have to, when you have to talk about like the stuff that you're doing, you know, it's like a give and take, you know, you have to listen and you have to talk and then you have to like, you know, figure out like, is this, is this, you know, the right fit? Cause I mean, there's a right. lot of times where, you know, I've talked with folks about different stuff and like, I figured out that it's not a good fit for them, but there might be something else that I can help them with. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, there definitely is something else you can help them with. You just, you have to listen. You have to have mm-hmm. those comments. You have to send those text messages. You have to work at it. And sometimes, you know, people don't want to, don't want to put in that exactly. work. Hold on. For, yeah. Hold that thought real quick. Let me do a station ID. Um, everybody, and I can't believe, sorry, uh, 40, 346. <laughs> um, everybody, you're listening to WRUULP Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Signings Community Radio with Global Soul. So, Courtney, this is uh, another question I have for you. I want to know the why. And okay. this is going back to, uh, like, let's just say a generic uh, situation here. Get somebody, um, they, you know, for example, they join uh, the chamber or whatever. How would you talk with them or, or what would you, you know, like if you, like, let's just say it's a cleaning service, for example. You don't know them. You just got their name and phone number and, you know, you want to connect with them. How would you do that and why? Like, what would be the why behind, like, how you do it? So the why I want to connect with them is to give them to serve as a resource for them if they need something. The how would go probably something like this. Uh, call them, get their name. Hey, Courtney with the chamber, how are you doing? And they blah, 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 blah. So tell me about yourself. And then they feel like, oh, okay. She wants to hear about me, not tell me. And then comes that keyword, listen, let them talk to you. Sometimes I take notes. I will not lie. And then by then, the con- if you listen to them, <laughs> I always believe that you're going to connect on like a couple different levels. You're going to either connect on kids, on marriage, on traveling, or on puppies. <laughs> one, is- <laughs> one of those four. <laughs> No, if you get start talking about dogs, oh, we're good. We're gonna we're we're right there together. We're gonna start talking, um, and then you know by the end of the conversation, I like to leave it with, listen, here's my number, here's here's my email, call me, talk to me. If you can't find somebody and you need something here, I said I probably know them. I've been planted here in this community for, you know, eighteen years. Give me a call, and then if they don't call you, you shoot them a text and say, hey. I really enjoyed talking with you the other day. Don't forget I'm here if you need me. You know, I want to go a little deeper. I want to go another layer deep. How about that? You ready? Yeah. All right. Now let's take that and apply it to those folks that you know already and that you could be like, hey, you you know, what's up? (laughs) Or however you greet them. Like we were talking about the emails earlier. How do you you apply that that to that – to the same thing because it's you know renewal type thing how do you apply it then oh so like renewals with like by local memberships or something like no that? no i don't mean physical renewals i mean like right. um like uh an ongoing type relationship with the, the person how do you how do you transition that same you know checking in with them seeing how you could be a resource for them how do you apply that to the folks that you know already Sometimes I guilt him into it. I'll say, what? Okay. No. I'll say hey, you remember me? I'm Courtney. Remember me? What? I, I joke. I yeah, joke I love that. Well, a super lot. It's a huge icebreaker. If it's someone that I know that I haven't talked to in a while and I'm checking in on them, usually I start off the conversation by, hey, party peeps. That's kind of just. Uh, I like that. The yeah. people that I know, it's kind of like an icebreaker. I haven't talked to you in a while. What's up? What are we doing? When are we hanging out? Are you surviving um, COVID? Is your dog want, is your dog running you ragged? Have you been exercising? <laughs> and I'll like send them a whole slew of questions and they'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> and then come back. You just have to, I, I just feel like you have to give them a reason to talk to you, kind mm-hmm. of. And if you would, you know, and it's just a compilation of things. If you've listened to them, if you've sent them those text messages, if you've called them, dude, I'm real big on cards. 
like I love to send thank you cards. I feel like writing something is a lost art because no one ever sent. It's always email or Facebook yeah. or something like that. And and sending something personal to them to let them know that whatever they may have done or that you're thinking about them personal like that. I mean, because let's be honest, it takes a lot to put something in the mail. Am I right? Oh, you, uh, you know, I, I'm the same way. Like, I love to send out mail, and I do yeah. like to send it out. But they, you're right, people don't. And that's another, the, not to keep going back to the piggybacking thing, but that's another one of those, uh, you know, things that, you know, they hit on, and they're like, uh. so on that, going back to the same thing, where we kind of little theme I've been kind of uh, peeling here, why is that important to be genuine about it? Because, like, you know, same thing with the phony stuff. Why is it important when you're sending out a letter or a card or whatever to be sincere and, and, and genuine about it. So my gut wants to say, for me, the reason to do it that way is because it's the right way to do it. Yes. There you go. I think that's that's a great answer. That's <laughs> how you're supposed to do it. It's you're not supposed right to do it just because you're, you know, trying to, you know, like Oh, I'm doing all the right things. I mean, like I see that over and over again, and you know, yeah. it 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 doesn't ever last. Those folks don't ever, you know, uh, because they're not approaching. I f- I feel like they're not approaching it, and that's why I go to the shovels and jeans thing. Like I'm so glad that we have a chance to talk about this. But the folks that were selling stuff to the miners were making money off of the miners' work. You know, that's the same folks today. They're like. Oh, well, you know, if you do this program or if you do this, that program, or if you get in this organization or that organization, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not a magic, uh, you know, oh my formula. God, it is not. No, no, it is not. no, I never, I never tell people to join anything. The first thing you want to do if you're a new business and you're looking, because again, know your audience, mm-hmm. you go and visit some places, you don't just come up. A lot of people think that when you join an organization, uh, the sales are just going to come because you join. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> you have to work on it. You I'm laughing because it's so true. It's like people are like, I'm going to be a millionaire because yeah, I joined. I joined five organizations. My work here is done. <laughs> no. I'm doing all the right things. <laughs> right. You have, to, yeah. you have to work at them. You have to go out and cultivate those relationships and all that. And I always give the advice, don't just join a bunch of stuff. Oh. Oh my gosh. It, oh my know, gosh, Walmart Courtney. You're so true. That's gonna, so true. Walmart ain't going to work and buy local. Let's, come on. It, it ain't. Well, we're you, not, read the room. Know your people. audience. Yeah. I mean, like you got to, you know, you wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to try to um, serve a hamburger to somebody who's looking for filet mignon. <laughs> you <No>. know, <laughs> if you're no. looking for filet mignon, you don't want a hamburger. If you're yeah. looking for a hamburger, you're not looking for filet mignon. Yeah, and you know we have um, um, quite a few organizations that do a little crossover here in Savannah, which I love. I mean, my businesses who are local and are downtown, downtown business association, which we'll do a shout out to them because they're yeah, we can talk about them the next hour too. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, You know, you join by local and you get those relationships there and then you work downtown because then you have people who are downtown. You've added that layer. You've added that element. So you're local, you're downtown. There's your two elements. We got um, we've got about one minute left in this hour. What is like a wrap up for like the takeaways you want people to to understand from our first hour of the chat? Be genuine. Yep. Know your audience. Yes. Make relationships. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I love it, Courtney. I'm so excited to have you on the show today. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving my mojo. I'm like, I know. Oh, I this this go. next hour is going to be even more gelling. <laughs> oh. All right. So, everybody, t- uh, stay tuned. At 4 o'clock, we're going to come back for the second hour with our special guest, Courtney Rollins. Um, and she's just giving us like all of the good stuff today. Like if you want to know, man, yes, the yes, 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 we're spilling the tea today. All right. So, uh, hang tight. We'll be back in about five minutes. Y'all Adam, I'm going to put you on mute and put a new logo. You are listening to W R U U L P Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM W R U U dot org. We are Savannah soundings community radio with global soul. This is Sounds of Tarab from the album Zanzibar, New York.